Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray's Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2 where we have patch number 2. I'm a little bit late getting to it but we are here and this is version 0 0.1.2.0 and we are going to test it out with a craft that I test out in 0 0.1.1.0 which is the heavy dropship launch. So I am not going to make any changes to this. I haven't changed it yet. It needs changes but we're going to see how it works in this version without any changes and then proceed from there because then that might inform the changes that I make because if I make changes based on how it performed in the previous patch I might be wrong. So we have this launch and we're just gonna bring it outside and see what happens. It is uh, strutted the way it was strutted in the previous version. The struts still remain connected and this is a new save though I should point out. So I have a new save but I just brought in the workspace for this heavy dropship launch uh, into the save. So let us launch it and see. My main interest is to see whether the SOI change issue at Minmus is fixed. Uh, clearly the fins dropping off has not been fixed. Uh, they just dropped off. Well, th we've got two there. It's these two on the sides that are peculiarly um, not remaining attached. I don't know what's special about this axis versus that axis. Now in the patch notes, uh, they noted that they had fixed, it's not entirely clear to me, it said fixed a bug that could cause trajectory lines to incorrectly display as a non-closed orbit or escape trajectory. That's not exactly how I would describe the problem because it wasn't always an escape trajectory. It was just that it was the reversed orbit, uh, the reverse result. Uh, sometimes it was a closed orbit, it was just higher. And that happened with Duna and happened with one of the moons of Jewel. Uh, so it was very specific places. So maybe they fixed a different problem. I'm not sure because, uh, you know, there could be two problems, right? There could be a problem with it uh, showing an escape trajectory and there could be a problem with it having the wrong trajectory. That's two different things. So we're going to go to Minmus to find out. So we've lost two fins, but I think it'll work. Maybe. Up it goes. I don't. I didn't see anything about them fixing the delta v reading, so I'm not too sure. Maybe. Well, yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. I had previous issues with the delta v reading on launch when we had this sort of setup when we were not lighting the core in particular. Pretty good first launch so far, considering the enormity of the vehicle. But yeah, the Delta V reading is definitely wrong at this point. And if we expand these, the other stages do have, well, the jet stage is weird, but the other stage... Well, I don't know, it, it doesn't seem to read the... But that, that might be because of the direction of flight, it doesn't read the vector engine Delta V. Maybe that's confusing it. I do want the boosters to deorbit. Still want to make a flyback booster for this sort of thing, where it would have its own wings, but now that we have four of them, it's a little bit more complicated. It's possible, as long as staging doesn't kill things. But we could easily put, like, eight vectors on a sort of plane with engines in the back there. Okay, that, that'll do, I guess. And I'll consider that. If I'm confident that I can stage without things getting eliminated, I'll consider that. I'll try to develop that. We do want a fully reusable system here with the heavy dropship. It's completely under reaction wheel control here and prograde is not happening anytime soon, but we have time for it to adjust. I know, again, I don't want to have it be controllable solely on RCS because that's wasteful. This is stock. We can use the reaction wheels. Is it like not understanding how to do things? Is it backwards or something? Let me just check. I don't know why it would be backwards, but... Um, I have to say, it's not trying to point at prograde right now. I'm gonna try and do SAS control. This is new. I'm, I'm pretty sure it used to be able to point at prograde. I mean, of course I can stabilize it during time warp. But it's supposed to be able to stop spinning all over the place. 
Okay, yeah, it's, it's not stopping. Let me see if I can stop it. So I'm taking SAS off, and I'm manually trying to control it. I mean, I guess we could see if it... It was trying to actuate it. It's just that the reaction wheel is just really weak. So do tell me if you have some extra controllability issues here. I mean, the engine gimbling doesn't work very well on this either. So... I'm thinking we're gonna have to make some changes. Right now I'm gonna just be interested in seeing how it is coming back from Minmus. I don't even feel like I should be landing this on Minmus the way it's handling right now. Okay, well that's good enough for now. Guess we'll let it float around a bit. Wow, they changed burn timer a lot. Let's see if it works any better. Um, let's see if it can go to the maneuver node at any point. Yeah, right now this is pretty hopeless. Maybe it's because I've used the craft from the previous version? I'll have to test that. Let's bring this back. I, I don't think we're going to do anything useful with this. Let me revert to the VAB. This is just... It, it can't be that it can't point to the maneuver. And I can't manually turn it either. It doesn't seem like it wants to go. It's like it doesn't have any reaction wheel anymore. Let's just verify the cockatoo has 25 kilonewton reaction wheel, which is pretty hefty by reaction wheel standards. I mean, this big one has only 10. I think we've got that one too, right? Uh, so after the this this one right here, we've got the cockatoo, and then we've got this HL2. So we've got 35 kilonewtons altogether, which is very good. That's more than most things. I mean, even the space shuttle has 40, 40, 20. So we've got a heavy reaction wheel in theory. It's just not doing a whole lot. Is it something to do with its consumption of electric charge? Maybe if I put something to replenish electric charge, it'll help. But I should try something a little bit simpler just as a sanity check. So instead of the insanity check that we have here, I'll build a new craft for a sanity check. Okay, so here we are for our sanity check, and I decided to go green for my agency colors this time around. The other craft was imported from a previous save, so it didn't have the green coloration, but uh, we are fully green here per the agency colors this time around. And uh, hopefully I'll be more consistent than I was last time. But as you can see, while well, I've called this a sanity check, literally, I said sanity check up there. Um, it's not entirely sane, it's just mostly sane. The, the goal here is to test the cockatoo and the controller. So we have the same reaction wheels that we had with the previous craft. And this is a little bit lighter though, overall, so it'll turn better, just generally speaking. But the goal is to see whether it is because I imported that craft from the previous save that its reaction wheels weren't working properly or whether um, these are just busted somehow and uh, because i do think that it should be able to turn pretty vigorously towards a maneuver node so yeah that is the idea maybe it was the electric charge in which case we'll find out as well uh, and i'll try slapping on some solar panels afterwards but we'll try it th this way first without any solar panels and just with the internal batteries and see how it goes uh it's internal batteries 225 in that pod and this has only a little bit extra all right let's see how this goes we don't have a whole lot of gambling so i'll mostly go straight up i did put struts on the boosters but well it looks stable enough okay so going green here and Oop. and go. So have an extra stage in there. We we're lighting the nuclear engine right away, just to give extra control authority. Uh, it's not enough control authority. <laughs> okay, I'll just go straighter up first. Okay, I'll just go straight up for a bit. We are also going very, very fast early on here. And we're ending up very high, but that's alright. For the purposes of our test, it will not matter much. Okay, off go the boosters. And we could probably wait a bit. Well, let's see. Prograde? 
Well, that's much more convincing than last time, that's for sure. Yeah, I think there was just some problem with the previous craft. I'll just have to rebuild it from scratch. Or maybe I should just... I wonder if I could just take the pod off and put the pod back on. Then uh, put a new pod on. Just take the rest of the body off. If it's just the reaction wheel having a problem, you know, that's a big if. Maybe we can preserve the rest of it and just take the pod off. But yeah, let's just do some quick maneuvers to verify. Again, this is lighter, but not that much lighter. Alright, well, we'll go to Minmus and check the Minmus SOI situation out with this first. And then I'll test whether just replacing the pod and the controller on the heavy dropship will be sufficient to fix it. Maybe I should replace the fins as well. Maybe they fixed the fins and it was just the old fins dropping off. So I'll do that. I should have tried doing two burns. Seeing if it would keep track of the first burn correctly. Let me just plot two burns after this. And see how that works out. Well, uh, this bar is certainly a lot clearer than previously. Okay, well, let me just, uh, we'll, we'll have a correction burn and then a capture burn, and I'll plot both and see how it goes. And I actually can't make a maneuver in this SOI right now. And, yeah, oh, no, I can make a second maneuver over there. Nope, it just says time warp to point. Oh, here it says create a maneuver plan. All right, I'll do that. Let me create a, uh, it's just a silly maneuver plan. I'm gonna see whether it, We'll say we're trying to stay in orbit around Kerbin instead of crashing into it. Okay, so we have a maneuver like that. And what I'm gonna do is see if it keeps track of the first maneuver according to what it's supposed to do. Yeah, no, when you plot a second maneuver, it doesn't keep track of it. We would have already done quite a lot of that one meter per second. So, yeah, that's not fixed. I an encounter anymore. No, we, we did too much already. Yeah, okay, so plotting more than one maneuver is still a problem. Okay, I think I'll just take what I've got there and proceed. Right now it's showing a proper course back. We've got to capture and then plot and see what goes on. Alright, well it should be non-complicated about how to get out of this. We need to burn on this side, so basically immediately. And go like that, and uh, no, I don't think they fixed it. So we're going out this way. We should not end up in a higher orbit. Gosh darn it! Okay, so there's new craft, new save. All right now. All right. This is not an escape trajectory. This is a closed loop. And I will maintain that we are not going to be in this orbit at the end, after we do this burn. Instead, we are going to be in a lower orbit around Kerbin. I'm going to do this burn. And we're going to end up in a lower orbit. As far as I can tell, this is probably just a sign error, somehow. It's a weird sign error. Well, okay, I'll do it a little bit late, but it's not going to matter too much. As long as it's in the same direction. It will show a resulting orbit like this, but it'll end up being in a lower orbit after I cross the SOI boundary. Okay, the ignition. And shut down. Okay, that's that's the outward bound. I don't know if I have to keep it as a closed loop for their purposes, because they said uh, a bug that could cause trajectory lines to incorrectly display a non-closed orbit or escape trajectory. That doesn't matter in this case. It's not that it's showing an escape trajectory that's actually the problem. It's that it's showing the opposite trajectory of what we're going to end up having. It's not so severe with Minmus because once you get out of Minmus uh, SOI you can do a fairly easy correction, but coming back from Duna in particular, this problem is pretty darn severe. So that's a closed loop, it's not an escape trajectory. That's still wrong. And we're going to see that it's wrong. Right when we cross this boundary here. 
And see, when we cross the boundary, we have a lower periapsis over Kerbin. And again, we can correct it fairly easily, but I'm frankly shocked that they haven't fixed this. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down into orbit around Kerbin, just so that we can leave it there to test other things later. Okay, this is a lopsided orbit, but we don't need it in any particular orbit for now. Uh, you know, it's a toss-up whether I need to keep it in orbit at all, but it might be interesting down the road. Okay, let's go back to the VAB and see about refitting the heavy dropship with the, a newer pod, a greener pod, and see if that helps it be able to turn. Okay, so I've replaced the pod, I've repainted it, and we will see whether this now does maneuvers properly, or can turn to maneuvers properly. Okay, so now we have a replace pod. Oh, I forgot to replace the fins. Let me go ahead and do that. Let's revert to VAB, and I'll put new fins on to see if that helps. Again, I can strut them, but I really think they shouldn't be falling off on the pad. Okay, we have a set of fresh fins on. Let's see how it does. Doesn't seem to be... Okay, I don't think they're falling off this time. So that's an improvement. Let's see about those reaction wheels. Though, we have 2.4 meters per second velocity there. That doesn't make me feel better. But, okay. And launch. I think I've been turning a little bit too quickly. Okay, we should be past the speed of sound. Okay, I think we'll dispose of the boosters now. Alright, well, point of prograde. Well, we'll see. Is this really that much heavier than the other thing? All you have to do is eventually get there. I mean, I accept that this is a hard thing to turn. I just don't accept that it'll never get to prograde. I mean, I guess maybe there's some other part interfering with it? It could be because of some latent part being carried over. After all, we saw that the fins didn't drop off this time. So, in summary, it seems like the fins dropping off has been solved, uh, at least tentatively, I only did one test, so I'll have to bring it out to the pad a few times to see whether fins drop off anymore, but at least once when I replace the fins, they seem to stay on, so that's good. As far as whether the Minmus thing has been solved, the SOI Getting out of the SOI and having the outward bound trajectory show properly before we leave the SOI, that's not solved. And that probably means that Duna's not solved either. I'll have to check out Duna and Bopper Paul again, but since Mimbus isn't working, I'm gonna assume that those two are gonna be problematic as well. I didn't do a thorough test of all the planets and moons. Maybe there's some other planet or moon that actually has that problem. Still spinning in the dark here because it can't find prograde, but we saw that it was able to find prograde with the same uh, forward parts with the other craft. So it's something else. It's because this is uh, has parts from the previous patch that's not working out quite right, I guess. But yeah, that means that I have a whole rebuild to do, which is great. But anyway. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.